Alright, today we will be doing a tutorial about Altio and their open virtual desktop program. Essentially, Altio allows you to publish applications to users through a web browser with Java. It can be extremely useful for an organization considering it is actually a free product. Um, if you want to publish Windows applications, however, you will have to have a Windows server with terminal services installed. And uh, Linux applications are published, of course, free of charge. They do offer support packages if you are interested, and those do cost money. All right, let's take a little little look at the setup. I downloaded the entire ISO. Um, you can integrate this with an existing server, Ubuntu, CentOS. A lot of different Linux servers are supported, but I chose to download the um, entire install and uh, install it that way. And that's, that gives you a few advantages. You can do a, basically a complete setup from scratch and it steps you through it. GUI, you don't have to set up anything yourself really. Not that it's a difficult setup at all. Uh, you basically just need MySQL and a few other um, applications. All right. So once we have this up and running, um, we're basically gonna go to the your IP of your server. This is my VirtualBox IP. Session Manager slash Admin, and it's going to bring you up to the Admin panel. Um, if you ever wanted to go just to the sessions itself to actually log on as a user, you would just go Session Manager, Session, Ma session Manager, and not to the Admin. All right. So first, using the password we defined during setup, we are going to log in, and you'll be presented with the main panel that allows you to do a lot of different things here. And we're going to go to servers. I have one server online and it's this server right here. And let's go ahead and hit manage that server. Now this is a little pretty useful right here. It shows just a quick session stats about CPU usage, RAM usage, and sessions usage. I have no sessions currently in use, therefore it's 0%, however my CPU is still 41%. I don't have a very powerful virtual machine. And um, initially, um, usually, it will show up as unregistered servers and you would register a server for it. Um, then once you register it, you're going to want to go ahead and manage it. Number of available sessions, um, that depends on your hardware configuration usually. Redirection name of the server, right now it's just the IP since I'm not doing anything fancy. And the web port, port 80. So, and um, it'll initially be in maintenance mode and you would hit switch to production and it would switch it to production mode. Now this shows all the applications available on this server. If you want to add an um, application you can install from package name or if you don't know the package name. These are all the Linux options that are available and there are a lot of them available. So you can do can add any of those and publish them out to to users. And another quick little thing, shared folders. These are folders that you can share among users. And just name the folder and then you can delete access or add access to different uh, different uh, groups, user groups. So once your server is up and running, um, you're going to want to check out your users and currently I just have you're not, I'm not able to do anything with these users because I'm just running it in test mode I'm not importing it from Active Directory or from LDAP or from anything and each user you can delete them from groups or add them to certain groups now publications and publication wizards, wizards is how you add applications to user groups right now I have by default uh, all app, all users get all the Linux applications that I have currently installed. And our configuration has a lot of different settings. This is your MySQL database settings. System settings are pretty much just general configuration things. It's where you set up your email as well. And server settings are a lot of uh, load balancing options are available here. And for session settings, this is where it gets a little bit interesting. You notice here, 
default mode for session. This is actually pretty important. There's portal and desktop, and I'll show you both of those. Um, both of them act very differently, and I actually prefer desktop, and I think most users would as well. It's more familiar to them. Um, events is basically emails for problems, web interface settings. This is where you can change your logon URL to whatever you want it to be, which is nice. And and then your status page right here will show any active sessions, which we don't have. Um, logs shows all of your logs. Reporting, which is very nice. Um, news and summary. Now this is actually pretty useful because you can see what user, what their login is, and what access to what applications they have. So. You notice all I have is Linux applications right now. I don't have a Windows Server to test any of the Windows applications at this point in time. Alright, great. So when a user first logs on, right now they would have a username and password they have to log on with, but uh, we don't have one of those, so we're going to go ahead and hit log on. It's going to go ahead and load your desktop. And the first time you'll probably have to accept a Java um, trusted Java application.